What's going on? Welcome to Asian Co. Self. You give me the HKL special help to King out. Hit the like, subscribe, and comment. All right, so let's get into Becky Hammond. Yep, who is the uh, Las Vegas Aces head coach. And, of course, she's making, you know, a uh, million a year to coach the Aces. But uh, the question is, what are you trying to get at, you know, uh, with uh, Caitlin Clark? So let's uh, get into uh, the tweets here, you know. Um, let's uh, get into it. So, uh Yep, Aces coach uh, Becky Hammond sheds light on controversial black and white sub comment regarding Caitlin Clark. So, yep, Becky Hammond. So, at first, we're like, okay. So, we're going to address the matter. And, you know, first, uh, we're going to go and check this uh, video uh, with her and Aja Wilson. So, let's uh, take this off and take a look here and let's look into this so let's check the first video we love caitlin clark there's no i think she's amazing i watched every time i possibly could and our and our league loves her this has nothing to do we're just doing our job we're gonna show up who is ever on the other team is on the other team we don't really care we're gonna show up and do us and so i think this narrative of like like we're everybody, We're everybody yeah. hating on Caitlin Clark, and even this. the black and white thing. Yeah. Knock it off. It's not there. It's, it's not there. So shut down the noise. And by the way, what is she? Twenty-two. She's a twenty-two-year-old woman with a lot of pressure. She's not perfect. She's not <laughs> perfect. She's a rookie in this league. Like, back off. Yeah. Back She's learning off. and growing just like everyone else. I feel like that's what people don't give her a chance. This is growth. We tell our rookies every single day, this is new. You're coming into a whole other new world and starting over. So it, it's the questions are only annoying because it's like, She's young. She's a rookie. Y'all keep asking us these questions as if she's a grown ass woman that's been in this league for years. Like, no, she's doing her job. We're doing ours. And at the end of the day, that's how we grow. It's when we get better and we do things like that. So, yeah, I'm just exhausted over the conversation because I know she's exhausted. I can only imagine. So, and, yeah. and so far as the <laughs> charters and this and that, I don't care if Kermit the Frog made the change. We've been fighting for this. We've been pushing. I mean, I've played in this league at 99, and we were traveling the same way. And I'm, like I said, I don't really care who's bringing this or who's bringing the crowds. What I care is that they're there and they're on the eyes and they see how great women's basketball is. That's what I care about. And that's a mic drop. Wow. Okay. And, you know, uh, there's Aja Wilson, you know, who actually, like, you know, complained about her shoe deal all right so now that's uh becky hammond but now she's gonna address another issue so first she's like oh let's you know caitlin clark and now let's take a look at this comments here um, my second question is about uh, your comments yesterday you had kind of a mic drop moment talking about how much the league, the league loves caitlin clark and how mm -hmm. there's no hate there but there was one point where you said even the black and white thing is not there knock it off i'm just wondering what you meant by that because you well, I think um, it's construed as some of our minority black and brown women are hating on her because she's white, and that is not the case. What, let's take Caitlin out of the picture. What I think is upsetting is it's not about Caitlin. Caitlin, give her her flowers. She's done stuff that no man or woman, black or white, has ever done in college basketball. Give that woman her flowers. But what it does is it has highlighted how black and brown greatness has not been celebrated or valued as much. That's what I was talking about. Okay. So, yeah, and you know, uh, her being white in Midwest has nothing to do with this, you know. And here's the thing. Yeah, you've been around for 27 years, you know. Yeah, you've been, but she's going to help you put butts in the seats, you know. 
and and you're sitting here okay just you know first uh gaslighting like okay there's no problem and now we have to help and expand oh the black players don't get this i mean uh today there's the privilege is you know really on your side and and no offense but especially for a lot of the, the women there the privilege is on your side now this isn't the 1950s so really i'm just kind of like just like yeah fabric acid like you know uh this entitlement and a lot of us Americans just work regular jobs and you guys want to sit there and just uh oh we need this we need that well you gotta get what's in the seats now yeah like of course Vegas I think already has like charter flights because of the owner but I could be wrong you know of course Caitlin Clark okay I mean it's gonna cost you money too as you know so and you're gonna use that off of the backs of the nba so yeah i'm just we're just sick of this sick of the placating sick of the gaslighting sick of this bs but that's what it is yep the wmba and you know all the other female leagues they're not sitting there bitching about shit. you know they have to, they make it work you know so i'm just like that's the WNBA for you, you know, for, for a few that just keeps crying and bitching about shit. All right. So if any of you enjoyed any of this content, please give me the HKL special help to King out. Hit the like, subscribe, and comment. So wherever you are, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video.